which are the apparatus we required for the silk pricking spirit lancet and cotton so here it is the spirit this is the cotton and this is the lancet why we are using spirit answer it act as a bactericidal and provide sterile pricking area bactericidal means killing of the bacteria so spirit act as a bactericidal and it provides sterile pricking area microscope here we are using three types of microscope simple microscope monocular compound light microscope binocular compound light microscope now we are going to see the pipette the parts of the pipette having a stem bulb rubber tube and mouthpiece there is a one plastic material which is present inside the bulb is known as bead and here are the markings for example 0.51 and 101 for rbc pipette 0.51 and 11 for wbc pipette now what is the use of bulb bulb is present for mixing blood and diluting fluid what is the use of bead bead helps in mixing the blood with diluting fluid indicates the bulb whether it is dry or wet helps to identify whether the pipette is rbc pipette or wbc pipette rbc pipette the most important identification point of the rbc pipette markings 0.5 1 large bulb as compared to wbc pipette red bead and red mouthpiece So these are the identification points of the RBC pipette. Now, which are the other uses of the RBC pipette? Sperm count, platelet count, and WBC count in conditions of leukemia. WBC pipette markings: zero point five, one, and eleven. Small bulb as compared to RBC pipette. White bead and white mouthpiece. so that is the identification points of the wbc pipette hemoglobinometer pipette there is a 20 microliter mark on hemoglobinometer pipette up to which we have to fill the blood this is the sahalis hemoglobinometer hemoglobinometer tube there are two types of markings on hemoglobinometer tube one shows hemoglobin gram percentage value and another shows percentage value usually hemoglobin is reported as grams of hemoglobin per 100 ml which means gram per dl or gram percentage comparator box which have color strip a bottle which contains n by 10 hcl here the n means normality define normality or what is normal solution when 1 g equivalent weight of a substance is dissolved in 1 liter of the solvent is called one normal solution can we use normal hcl or any strong acid or alkali no we cannot use because it will cause destruction of proteins which are present in the hemoglobin and hemoglobin value will alter stirrer or glass rod which used for mixing purpose floating time will be performed with capillary glass tube method these are capillary glass tube as you are seeing in the photograph so this is the vista green pipette for the esr and pipette it is open from both the end so this is the wintrobe tube for the pcv tube it is a type of instrument where it is closed at one point and open at another point rbc diluting fluid or hems fluid composition and function it contains sodium sulfate 2.5 g which prevents aggregation of rbc or rule formation sodium chloride 0.5 g which maintains isotonicity of the fluid mercury chloride 0.25 g which acts as antibacterial antifungal and preservative water 100 ml acts as a solvent 
डब्ल्यू बी सी डायलूटिंग फ्लूड और टॉक्स फ्लूड कंपोजिशन एंड फंक्शन एवरी हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ दिस डब्ल्यू बी सी डायलूटिंग फ्लूड कंटेंस थ्री एम एल ऑफ ग्लेशियल एसिटिक एसिड वन एम एल ऑफ जेंसियन वायोलेट एंड हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ डिस्टिल वाटर नाउ द फंक्शन ऑफ ग्लेशियल एसिटिक एसिड टू लाइज और डिस्ट्रॉय द मेम्रेन ऑफ आर बी सी एंड प्लेटलेट्स द फंक्शन ऑफ जेंसियन वायोलेट टू स्टेन न्यूक्लियर ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सीज एंड डिस्टिल वाटर एक्ट एज अ सोलवेंट Composition and functions of Leishman stain. Composition of Leishman stain: methylene blue, eosin, acetone-free methyl alcohol. Functions of each contain: methylene blue, it's a basic dye and it stains acidic part of the cell. For example, the nuclei, cytoplasm of WBC, and granules of basophils. Eosin, it's a acidic dye, stains basic part of the cell. For example, eosinophilic granules. Acetone free methyl alcohol fixes the smear to the glass slides. Why we are using acetone free methyl alcohol? Because acetone causes lysis of the cell. The improved new bars counting chamber. These are counting areas. There are two counting areas are present in the improved new bars counting chamber. Counting area of improved new bars counting chamber is three by three mm square. It is divided by two vertical and two horizontal lines into nine squares. Here, four corner squares are for WBC count, and one central square is for RBC count. Every WBC count square is of one by one mm. Which again divide into sixteen small squares by three vertical and three horizontal lines. Every small square is one by four mm in length and width. RBC square have triple borders. The central RBC square is divided into twenty five big squares, which having triple borders. Each big RBC square is one by five mm in length and width. Each big RBC square is again divided into 16 small squares by three vertical and three horizontal lines and all these small squares having a single border line it's 1 by 20 mm in length and width when we are going to put a cover slip over the improved new bars counting chamber the distance between the counting area and the cover slip is around 1 by 10 mm This one by ten mm is known as depth. 